Oh, hello everybody, this is... No, 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 that's not right. <laughs> that is not right. Let's try that again. Yes, guys! No, that's not right either. God, I'm out of practice. Um, so, here we are. No, that's not mine either. Hmm. Oh yeah, welcome back to... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, I remember. Greetings, the educated. How is everybody? I hope everybody is well as always. Um, I'm not going to be on this little intro for long because it's very warm in my car with the windows up. And if I have the window down, actually, it's not as loud as I thought. Um, so, basically, I'm on my way to Cheshire Police Headquarters in Devizes. Took a little look on my map this morning and I thought to myself, where am I going to audit today? And I thought, yeah, let's go to Cheshire Police Headquarters. I have to spend some time in Bradford and Avon this evening anyway. So, I'm already here. Well, I'm already in the general area. But yeah, I thought I would give you guys a little hello, let you know what I was doing. Practice brushing up on my uh, intro. <laughs> but yeah, um, guys, we'll catch up with you soon. Peace. All right, so um, it took me ages to get here. I think I'm here. I think I see it coming up on the left. I definitely see a police symbol. I've got my phone strapped to my chest today, so let me activate that to record. I'm hoping, I don't know what the angle is going to be like on that. But I'm hoping that I don't um, end up like switching off the, the record button. Because that wouldn't be great. Oh, I just thought you crossed over this road and it turns out I have to cross again. But this is a huge building. It's humongous. So let's cross. Well, I think when I was on the way down, when I did my little intro, I think I said Cheshire Police Headquarters. But as you can see, it's Wiltshire Police Headquarters. I'm in Devizes. I don't know if I said that to you guys earlier, but I'm in Devizes. My camera with me today as well, as well as my body cams. So we're going to go in and see obviously if they are going to respect our rights to record in a public place so that is why we are here today ladies and gentlemen let me uh, put my Jamaica flag bandana back around my face because I feel like by doing that I feel a little bit more confident so oh look at this police recovery truck can you see that over there right put this camera away a minute the bobby van do you see it look I haven't seen one of them before I don't know if any of you guys have. Let me know. This is a big old building though, isn't it? You see it? It's massive. I don't know what this little bit over here is over here, little visitor section. My, ble My bloody trousers keep falling down. Just hope I don't have to hot step. Let's try and remember that my camera is recording on my chest as well. 
So what we've got over here then, visitors car park, other staff only up there. They're not golden houses for me. We have a contractor on the way out. Let's see if this is a public reception. Crime and Communications Centre, whatever that means. I know you got a proper little look at me in the mirror then. Although I'm not really fussed about hiding my identity from you guys anymore. So, it doesn't really matter if you see me, this occupation at home, it doesn't really matter if you see me in reflections or anything like that. I'm not hiding from you guys. <laughs> See if there's like a firing range or something in here. People development. It's a massive complex. Unmanned Aviation Support Group. So we got the drone guys, the drone operators in there. You see them? Those guys are drone operators by the looks of things. Potentially like a drone training center or something like that. UASG. And you got the people's development. I feel like that should be. Oh, they got a helicopter pad here. Helicopter take off and landing area. Hello. Oh, no, I'm fine, thank you. Just having oh, a look. It's because we didn't recognise you. Oh, yeah, no, I haven't been here before. Okay, and so what are you looking for? Uh, nothing in particular. Have you got a video camera on at the moment? Yeah, I do, have yeah. You, can yeah. I ask I've you to tell me uh, why you're on site? Sorry, who are you, please? I'm the train delivery manager. Okay, I'm so you're a police officer? Uh, no, but I'm okay. pleased to see you, so can you tell me why you're on site, please? No. Okay, in that case, I'm going to have to take some further action if you're not. Are you able to identify yourself? You're asking me for ID? I'm asking you to tell me why you're on site, please. Identify myself, you said. I'd like to know because we I'd like have to know security the issue. Uh, is, to this a is this a secure site? Is it secure here? I have to challenge that I, I, responsibility. Hey, excuse, sorry, look, I, don't, I don't mean to come across rude, but it's absolutely fine that you challenge me. Absolutely fine. And that's but right. I just asked you a question back because, you know, you challenged me. I posed you another question. And because the answer to the question I asked you is, yes, this place is secure, my next line would have been, well, you have nothing to worry about then, do you? So thank that's you very right. much. Thank you very no, much. I'm, thank I'm you very much. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much for your interaction. I appreciate it. But I'm going to continue with my work. Thank you. Okay, have a lovely what day. Is your work? You're asking me quite kind of personal questions. Like I asked you who you were. You, I'm you happy to tell you. Yeah, that. and then I asked you if you're a police officer, and you, which you wouldn't answer. No, I and said I'm not a police officer. But the, the, the thing is, is you're asking me questions. There's it's a car coming. I'm just, uh, there's a car yeah, coming. I'm just going to step onto the onto the um, pavement. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for looking out for my safety, though. But I'm old enough to take care of oneself. Thank you very much for that. Um, so yeah, I'm just having a look around. Uh, I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be low. Two cameras, actually. I also have another camera in my hand, which isn't recording okay. at the moment. I don't but know who you are. No, I know. And I have a responsibility. But it, it, I understand. I do totally understand. I'm not being rude, but uh, again, in fairness, we all live on this planet. We, we go, we go on what we do. 
Yeah, yeah, but this is a, this is a public premises. This is funded by the taxpayer. I have a lot of people who would love to see this. They don't get to see it. So I've come in to make a short video, have a little walk around, explain little bits, point out little bits about police vehicles. I just noticed your landing area for your helicopter here. I'm just doing a little story. I don't have any hostile intentions. Have you any authorization to be on the police side? I do, yeah. And who's that come from, please? From myself, a member of the public from on the taxpayer's okay. land, public land here. So I was going to say, I know you're on the way. Right, are we are we finished, yeah? Um, I'll be with you in a moment. All right, so yes. I'm going to see you later. If you okay, wish thank to you. Continue, thank you, fine. thank you very much for that. Right, as I was saying, guys, they've got uh, like a little helipad here, but it looks it was not actually a helipad, just a clear area for having helicopter landing and takeoff. We've got looks like we've got some charger ports down here for vehicles. We're we'll going to take a look at. There's, like seems to be a hell of a lot of cars in here. Are they playing football over there or something? There might be a gun range or something like that, potentially. TSU parking. Facilities. Property support and management, facilities management, contracts and cleaning, grounds, catering, door access cards, appointment only, appointment via facilities at Wiltshire PNN, police.uk. Ah, uh, it's the dog section, look. Better have those dogs tied up. Make sure that they're cool. We don't want to get attacked. There are little petrol pumps. I don't. Where's the diesel? Oh, there, down there. Ah, oh, here are the Marks Police cars. Hi. Oh, hello, love. How are you? Yeah, fine. Is that where you keep the, all the Marks Police cars in there? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Just going to take a look. Hey? Where are you? Hey, where are you from? You chat me up. Where am I from? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm sorry, because you haven't got a pass on you. Oh, yeah, all. no, I'm just making a video, that's all. Okay, well, this is restricted area. So restricted just, house, sorry. You, that bit over there is fine. Which bit over the way? Because you see where the barrier is. Yeah, so sorry. you shouldn't really be walking in this area. But um, I thought I was allowed to. I mean, I didn't cross any barriers or gates or anything. I just walked so in. A barrier it's, yeah, but down for, there. for cars, though, there isn't one for the pedestrian access, is there? If you if you don't mind, Sorry. I'm just asking you to yeah, move no. out of the way because you haven't got a pass. And I don't I, know who you are. I know, I understand that, but I'm just also it's letting. Not, it's not public. I, it is. It's a police station. No, this isn't public. This here. is the police station. Yeah, I know it's a police station. So it is public. But it's not a public police station. It's the headquarters, so it's yeah, not somewhere for the public. No, no, no. Come. I think you misunderstand me. What I mean to say is. Um, this place is funded by taxpayers' money. Yep. I'm a taxpayer, mm -hmm. which effectively, if we're going to split hairs, and I don't mean I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but effectively, this is my my grounds. I mean, you couldn't trespass me from here because I'm on public land. Well, this is private, so I'm asking you but, to leave the area. Sorry, but uh, this is not a private place. This is a police station. This is right, the police I'm headquarters, and I, I believe under Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972. I have the express right to be here under my implied rights of access. I've just come in to make a little video for my YouTube channel. I have a lot of okay. people who are interested. Sorry, if you let me sorry, if you let me finish. Sorry, if you let me finish. Sorry, if you let me finish. That's private and confidential. And okay, I'd like that's you to fine. Move over there, but I was just I was just saying to you, if you before you interrupted me, that I was going to make my way through there, film the police, the marked police vehicles mm -hmm. as I was, and then I'll be on my way. Okay, well, over there then. Yeah, please so don't give this. Please look. I, don't, I hate. Not here. Excuse me. I'm but you're not directing traffic right now. Can you please stop pointing and waving your hand? I'm not a dog. I'm a human being. I know, and I'm okay. Asking you I haven't been rude to. You. I haven't been rude to you, I'm Miss. I'm asking you politely I know, and now you're raising. I know you're raising my voice. I haven't been rude. I've just said because to you that not, I'm going to go through that way, and you're trying to. No, because I don't have to. I haven't broken the law, so stop giving me directives. I'll do as I please. Don't give me directives. I have not. Oh, why are you walking right behind me? Sure you're, you're causing me harassment, alarm, and, and distress right now. Face. I am doing what this. No, no, I won't. I'm going to walk at my own pace. I told her. No, I haven't broken the law. Why? I, I have not broken the law. So why would I follow her instructions? 
You're out of your jurisdiction, Sergeant, with all due respect. So, as I was saying, guys, this is where the marked police vehicles are kept. I noticed the, um, the private police car, uh, the private, um, what do you call it? The car park where they keep their cars. So they, I can hear them talking behind, like, you might not, you might, you're not going to be able to hear them, but I can absolutely hear them. And they're talking about my YouTube channel. Why, sorry, yeah, why are you following me, please? All right, and also, no, but I'm not, listen, I'm not on private property. A couple of other things as well. Your body camera is recording, yeah. and in your policy, it says that you will tell the member of the public when you activate your body camera. Furthermore, you will take your hands out of your pockets and stop with your slovenly behavior, constable, okay? okay. You Get see, your hands out as, of your pockets, you sir. My camera is recording. Yes, it is, which you, is, you should you, have told me that you, you were recording me. before you approached me. You know so you. everything I have said before this point sir. will be treated without prejudice. Do you understand? There's no prejudice Thank at you. <laughs> so I am being followed by these police officers. But as I said before, I was interested in the marked police cars. And I noticed a few different ones that I haven't really noticed before. So in this little... Uh, sorry. I, the police cars, I'll show you the police cars. But that's absolutely all I wanted to do. I told the first lady who came to me, but now I've got police officers sir, following me, sir. people in plain clothes telling me what to do. Sir, my name is Michael. Michael, nice to meet you. My um, name is... Oh, I'm not going to tell you that, actually. First of all... Yeah. You can't go in certain parts of the police station, okay? Okay. Simple as that. But it's a police station. It's funded by the public. Yes. It's ours. Certain we own it. You're allowed to go to. Okay? Yeah, but it's policy that restricts us, not law, sir. Okay. So I follow law. What can I help you with? Nothing. I was just. I didn't. I didn't intend on any interactions. I just walking around. I told you. I would like to look at some marked police cars. I have people who have an interest in them. It was actually that vehicle there coming in with the uh, police car on the back that piqued my interest. I've okay. just been around today, just making There's videos. There's parts of this police station you can't go to. Okay. Okay. okay, that's all we're asking for. Okay? Yeah, that's fine, I understand. I understand this, this part. Yeah, it's fine for me. where people park their cars. So I'm okay here, yeah? But ideally... No, not ideally, ma'am. I, I feel like we got off on the wrong foot over there, but let's stick to law because, bit. let's face it, like, we live in a time, right, where we have the internet. Lots of people don't get to see the inside of a police station, especially a headquarters like this. So there are those of us that go out and like to document it so people watch it, much like watching EastEnders or the news at mm -hmm. 6 o'clock. I don't see the problem. The first lady who came out to me, I was totally transparent. I explained to her and she said for me to carry on, which I did. And at okay. that point, well, I interacted with you. So here, as my colleague has said, here is public. Yeah. OK. And round there no, no, is not. No, no, no. Listen. And so that's so why it's raised concerns. Says, Although I do, there is a sign that says no unauthorised access. Yeah, I know, but what the problem is, is if you don't, like, Therefore, I don't, when I say, when I say this, when I say this, I don't want you to think I'm just being an ass, right? But if you don't want people to go around there, you need to gate it because otherwise people are just going to go there because, I and you, and you know why, Sergeant, because we have the lawful right to under section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972. If I can walk through it without crossing a barrier by opening it, climbing it, or moving around it, I am free to enter it. You know this, Sergeant. It says no unauthorised access. I understand that, but and it's a so civil matter, raising, isn't it? So therefore, because of our threat level, we have what to question threat level? Those it's that disproportionate, ma'am. The threat level is that I don't know threat. who you are because you're not wearing we go, a lanyard we go, you haven't we, got any identification. Yeah, I do have ID. You haven't asked me for it. Well, I'm about to, but you, right, we, okay. it, it got into a slight altercation right. over there. Well, yeah, but so I feel like I'm, you escalated that. Okay, fine. But we, we can agree to disagree yeah. because I know what police are like. So, Go ahead. No, I know what I know what some police are like. Then Thank Michael, you. it's Michael, right? Yeah. yeah okay. No, no, that's like saying I know what every member of the public. Yeah, I know. I know. I I understand that, but I heard this lady speaking to the gentleman over there, and she she tarred me with the same brush as what your generic um what you, your your generic handed down information is given. So, and I heard her say that. Sir, is it okay to call you? Like yes, you, sir. Yeah. Sir. Yeah, okay. it's fine. You can't go beyond that point. No, I've just been told that a few times, okay. but we dispute it. And I, I, you know, you say, I appreciate you say about the aspects about the barrier, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. But if your front door was open, yeah. you wouldn't just want me to walk into your front door. But legally, you could. No, no. Yes, you, you could. No. If my front door is open, no, no, you, no, we can't. Listen, we can't. sir, we can't. No, sir, sir we can't. excuse me. Into your house. Sorry, Michael. 
you may not be as a police officer, right? But everybody, everybody on this planet who walks this planet with two feet, two feet, has an implied right of access. If I leave my, listen, if I leave my door open and somebody comes in my house, it could be construed as aggravated trespass. It could be. However, the black and white of the law says if my front door is open, anybody may walk in until I revoke their implied rights of access. What can we do today to not upset you? I'm not upset, sir. <laughs> I don't think... I appreciate okay. your effort, what Michael. Do, I do. What can we do that stops you going where we don't want you to be? There's one thing you could do for me, and, and I, I'm not going to go back there anyway, yep. but in the interest of um, public relations, yep. how about you show me around a police car so that I can show my viewers? Show me, a, 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 show me something I interesting. Have, I don't have keys to all the cars. That's fine, that's, I, that's fine. But you know, it'd be nice to see something interesting because usually what when people like... What are you interested like, in particular? Cars, vans, lorries? Yeah, well, people like to know where their tax dollar is spent, do you know what I mean? So it'd be nice to know, kind of, okay. in general, like... In general senses, BMW is the most police force's choice for specialist ops, i.e. firearms, cars, traffic cars. That's... No, that's else, Discovery is used for, like sort of recovery, yeah. of towing capability. Yeah. Vauxhall, standard CPT cars. Yeah. The van there is a dog van. Which one, sorry? So you've got four. Look, you see that four, van there? What is that one? Four five zero. No, um, like the, the like the Luton van there. Um, probably an ex fishy van. You can walk for me. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, the room size, yeah. I'm fine, thank you, yeah. Oh, thank you for letting me know. He's okay, he's fine with me. I'm not hostile. So we have a Cougar, another CPT car of choice. Yeah. We tend to have different cars. So there's a Are these all police vehicles in this lot? Uh, some of the cars, that's okay. why people, obviously... They get funny about people recording. Because if you're going to record it and you're going to put it on, hmm. I don't know if you've got a YouTube channel or something. I do, yeah. But if I drove in with a dash cam or somebody drove past with a dash cam or somebody was stood outside... If you were to turn up here yeah. to, for an appointment, come to the front office and have a... Yeah. Um, I don't know, that's a check. Yeah. Because normally there's parking out spaces for up front. Yeah, I saw like a private parking area. I didn't go anywhere near that because I assume that was the police private vehicles. So I stayed well away from there. So this might be like an old incident van okay. where we could take it somewhere. Oh, like a community van kind of thing. Or no, so if there was like a major incident, we could have that as like a mobile office. Yeah, yeah. Once you've got the custody. How long have you been a police constable, Michael? Uh, 2013. Okay. Uh, you have a very nice manner. I like you. I, just, I interact with it's, a lot of police officers, and they're like, not often as nice as you. I, so I appreciate, I appreciate you that. for that. That's why it is that aspect of when you said like how we're not. Yeah. No, no, no. I understand. Um, from a job point of view. You have to. Um, you have to understand though. Like people, things happen. Some police are are bad, and that kind of, you know, rubs off when you wear a uniform. Do you know what I mean? So. But end of the day. Everyone's an individual. I appreciate yeah, that. I do. I do. So I, I apologise if I came across rude to you at the beginning. I would hate to be rude to somebody okay. who's not being rude to me. Um, general, just cars that have. Oh, let's have a look at that smashed up one. What's happened there? Hello. Okay. Um, so, cars that have sort of been involved in collisions that are. On their way out, having yeah. to. Yeah. Wonder what happened there. Airbag, airbag deployed and everything. Again, I don't know the history of the stuff. I've got a question about these police cars. So I noticed on a few people's videos that some of the police cars, like the outside of the um, main headlights, it kind of flashes infrared on the cameras. Is, is the uh, is the yeah? I've noticed it in a few of the police cars in the town I live in, and. Um, they kind of like, you know, like if you're trying to check if your remote control works at home and you point it at a camera and yeah. you can see the infrared light. Yeah, you noticed that on some of the police cars recently. I was just wondering what that was. What aspect of the car? Sorry, well, like, like, sorry, if I just I'm show you. No, 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 if I just show you. But you see, like, kind of like around the edge. It's not on this one. You know the ones where they have, like, the main headlight and then they have, like, a little strip, like, that kind of goes around it. Like, oh, the side. Like running ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is those ones that seem to flash um, infrared but I wasn't sure why. It's only recently I've noticed it. I, I, no I've idea. Okay. I don't have to look at certain yeah. channels. So any of these old vehicles for sale or what? Uh, some of them will go to an auction. Yeah, who, get, who gets the money for that? I, okay, I don't know. I, I, I'm not being yeah. stupid if no, I No, no, that's fine. Yeah, I appreciate you saying you don't know rather okay. than just trying to cop-splain to me. You know? It's one of those aspects of like, 
why would I tell you? Oh, they, it goes to what A? I find yeah. Out what A? Is, yeah, right? yeah, no. There's yeah. no point saying. I appreciate that. So, no, do you do this not. often? Do uh, you have act, like, from not time this, to time. But do you have like, interest in general public? Well, it, I love, I love. No, 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 it's not that. What it is, I love people and I love social interactions. Okay. So I go out. It's not just police stations I come to. I film every everywhere I go. I wear my head camera because. You never know, okay, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah, because you never know what's going to happen, right? So Hence I wear it. Dash cam as exactly. Well, so I like to interact with people. You never know the interaction you're going to get from person to person, you know. And people, do you have a people like to watch it. I do, yeah. Do you live stream or do you just like? Uh, I live stream sometimes, but um, I usually just video. So am I allowed to know what the video is? Uh, channel well, or? No, you, you can. Answer? No, if you search. Um, Cheshire Police, uh, sorry, Wiltshire Police Headquarters in the next few days you'll be able to see it if you search it on YouTube, you'll okay. be able to find it easy enough. I feel like my people might appreciate you, you've been a nice guy. Um, obviously you can't see this other garage because it's just... What if it's it, open? No, no, I don't need to go in. But, but you know what I mean, like if, yeah. you, if you were stood like, because um, you obviously know a lot about legislation. Yeah. So you wouldn't be able Enough to, to talk, stay safe, at least. Yeah. You wouldn't go up to the office window and film through the window. <laughs> well, I would if I wanted to, because um, I wouldn't be breaking the law if I did that. Because you know I'm, what I mean? That's this kind of thing that's gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be here to. I'm not here to purposely antagonise anybody. Right. So I'm not gonna do anything purposefully to antagonise anybody. Right. But I will exercise my rights, and I, I will defend my rights vehemently if needed. So that yeah, I mean I'm a nice guy, I, you know. Anything else I can help you with? No, I mean that's it. I, I I did not expect you to take me on that little walk run, and I I appreciate I appreciate it. Thank you. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a little chat to my guys on my camera, have a have a little look around, then have a look around the front, and then I'll be off. Okay. So you can know, say summarise the fine line. Yeah, yeah. Um, because of what's happened today, can I just get your details? Just. No, I haven't broken the law. You can. Um, are you asking me for ID? If you're happy to show me some. Right. On the back will tell you why. Uh, case law? Yeah. Uh, Are you a firearms officer? No, 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 no. Oh, I just see it says on your... On your um, radio it says Wiltshire oh, Firearms 401. Specialist Operations is just a channel name. Oh, okay, okay. Traffic officer. Okay. Cheers. Alright? Cool. Um, Cheers. I'll I'm not going to go around the side. You could do this. I'm not going to go. Only because you asked me and you've been respectful and I, I am not in the market to disrespect respectful people. It's not who I am. Treat, so treat each other how we want to be treated, don't we? Absolutely. Thanks, cool. Michael. Thanks. Station, you're based here, are you? Are you based at devices? No, based at Based here, okay, cool. Okay, so here you go. Your crown, I sir. I still don't give you permission, okay? Um, so you have no expectations of privacy in a public place, dude. So, um, well, I'll just remind you that I haven't given you... You're ex-army, aren't you? I'm not ex-army, no. Sure. I don't, I've just had a really nice talk with Michael, and I come over, it just seems like police just can't help but give directives. Like, stop giving directives to people who haven't done anything wrong and go about your business. It's disrespectful. Yeah, as I said, just please don't come past the bollards. Yeah, no, I'm not going to come past the bollards. Okay? What's your number anyway, you young buck? Seven zero. And your name? Seven, Are you sure? sure? Do you suspect me of terrorism offences? Then you absolutely do have to give me your name, sir. You can take two seven zero. Yeah? You based from here as well, are you? Uh, yep. Yeah. You based here, are you? Are you based here? Are you based here? Can I see your warrant card, please? And you've given me, you have to give me three forms of ID. You've given me your number and your uniform. So either give me your name or show me your warrant card. How long have you been a constable? A constable? Huh? I don't have to 
to tell you. No, but you, what you do need to do is know the law and your policy. And your policy states that when a member of the public asks you to identify, you will identify with three forms of ID. I will accept your uniform. You have given me your number. So you will either show me your warrant card or you'll tell me your name, sir. Or you will receive a complaint. You're more than welcome to put in a complaint, Okay, yeah. that's fine. Off you go then. Okay, thank you're, you. You're no longer required. You need to change. Michael, please. He needs your attitude. No, but he, he needs your attitude because you're a nice guy. How he just dealt with me was incorrect. It's not the way, it's not the way I expect to be treated. I expect it to be treated the way you stroke me. No, I know, I know you can't control another man and I do, I still appreciate you, Michael, but you know, the, when, a, when, a, when, a, when a constable you are around acts outside of his remit, you should say something because you know what I said earlier and you, you questioned me and you said actually it's not all officers but when a good officer doesn't say something to a bad officer that makes him just as bad. Yeah, of course. You don't. I'm just annoyed with myself. I said the word tret and it's not even a word. That's watching too many YouTube videos that is. But the word tret is not a word. If you're talking the past tense of treat, you say treated. Right, I'm going to go and take a look. We'll look around the front anyway now. Because that guy is just trying to wind me up. Because they want to get me on a aggravated trespass. I know they're trying it. So, yeah guys, we're going to go around the front. I'm not sure if there's anything else going to happen, but I'm not actually going to go yet. I'm just going to go and wait around the front. I'll have a little look around. I think it's quite um, interesting actually that I'm here and he actually showed me around the car park where the police vehicles were. Now, when you consider I received a CPN for filming police private vehicles and then I've just been shown around the police's car park by a police constable, it does make me feel a little bit shitty that I um, had those restrictions imposed on me for so long because you know, quite obviously, as has just been proved, it's not against the law. I didn't do anything, so it's a shame. But yeah, I don't know if any, like I said earlier, for you guys, I don't know if any of you have ever seen this recovery vehicle before, but I've never seen a police recovery vehicle like that. I wonder what that's, that is down on the DVLA as, as what colour. I bet it's down as white. When there's minimal white on it. Police cordon. You see, I want to come and show him, like, if you don't want people to go, this is what you do. That's got to be a little exercise yard for, like, I know there's probably no cells in here, is there? Staff parking. <laughs> it was funny when I gave him that ID card. I've been waiting to be asked for ID ever since I got that from Panaki News. Well, ever since he designed that picture for me and put the precedent on it. No, he's a G. He's a nice guy, Panaki. Anyway, on the end of this one, I want to give a shout out. Not like a shout out for another YouTube channel, but I just wanted to say hello to a subscriber of mine. He contacted me on Instagram. So hello Steph, I hope you're well. And that was um, Wiltshire Police Headquarters. We hope you enjoyed it, even if nobody else does. <laughs> and I wonder if they're gonna jump on me when I, um, when they think my camera's switched off. But there is another police station down here, which I'd be interested to go to. So I'm going to do that on the way back through. Like, as I'm going to say it now that I'm out of, I'm totally out of earshot from them guys. But when that when that guy got out of the car and he was like, "Listen to the sergeant," like and that, so nearly made me start shouting. But I'm making a conscious effort, guys. Like I don't want to be a shouty McShouter all the time and just shout and swear and stuff. Because I don't have to. I'm, I'm, 
I'm better than that, I guess you could say. So, but it is hard sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. It's difficult sometimes when people say stuff and they're quite obviously trying to violate you, trying to tell you what to do. Like, I don't like having directives. I really don't like people giving me directives. So, um, it's hard to, uh, it's, hard, it's hard not to not to get annoyed when they start giving you directives, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess you could say. Or it is what it ain't, as I like to say. Yeah. Mind you, that old girl at the beginning, she was proper annoyed, wasn't she? I don't know. Anyway guys, I feel like I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to take a little walk down to the other... Well, I'm going to actually sit on that bench a minute. Roll a cigarette. Yes, I've started smoking again, but it's hard to quit. It's really hard to quit. Yay! His number plate said yay, which was funny. But yeah, I'm going to sit here. Roll a cigarette. Before I go, so I'm going to cut the recordings.